I'm Miles Gutemer, Motion Control Editor with uh, Design World Magazine, and welcome to our Motion Control Selector video series. Uh, in this episode, we look at the steps involved in selecting a gear motor. There are several key design parameters that should be considered when selecting a gear motor. At the start, gather all the relevant technical and commercial requirements. This first step is often overlooked, but it's a critical component in the design process. The gathered design inputs will then be used in the selection process and will dictate the ideal motor for the application. Next, consider what type of motor technology best suits the intended application. Because each application has its own unique characteristics, it's important to determine which of the parameters, for instance horsepower, efficiency, useful life, starting torque, or noise rating, are most important to that specific uh, application. During the motor selection process, by looking at the required speed and torque of the application, it should become clear if the motor chosen uh, requires a gearbox to meet the requirements. If a gear motor is necessary, uh, there's another level of complexity that will be added and several more criteria need to be looked at. There are a number of motors and gearbox types that can be combined. For example, the right angle worm, planetary, and parallel shaft gearboxes can be combined with permanent magnet DC, AC induction, or brushless DC motors. Though there are a vast number of different motor and gearbox combinations, uh, not just any one will work for the application. Certain combinations are more uh, efficient and cost effective than others. Knowing the application and having accurate ratings for the motor and gearbox is the foundation for successfully integrating the gear motor into the system. So there are really two methods for selecting a uh, gear motor. Method one involves selecting a motor and gearbox separately and uh, combining them afterwards. Method two, however, involves selecting a pre-engineered gear motor. While both methods are effective at finding the most compatible gear motor, method two reduces the design time and project risk. When selecting a pre-engineered solution, the manufacturer has done much of the heavy lifting to ensure that the motor and gearbox combination will, will work properly together. Because performance calculations and testing have been performed by the manufacturer, this will minimize gear motor failures caused by miscalculations or improper uh, component matching. Focusing on method two, uh, the speed and torque required for the application is critical in selecting the gear motor uh, combination. Using the speed and torque measurements, you can then select the manufacturer's performance curves that match the application needs. The gear motor curve combines the performance of the motor and gearbox by displaying speed, torque, and efficiency. If a complete gear motor uh, assembly is purchased from a manufacturer, this curve is provided by the vendor. Finally, after selecting a few performance curves that appear to meet the application needs, it's important to uh, review the design limitations. Look for the following information in the manufacturer's performance calculations and use it to determine if the chosen gear motor will cause any issues uh, within the uh, application. Consider the thermal characteristics, full load gearbox torque, gearbox input speed, gearbox yield strength, and intermittent duty. Once the gear motor has been chosen and installed, it's important to perform several test runs in sample environments that best reflect typical operating scenarios. If there's uh, extreme motor heat, unnatural noises, or obvious motor stress, uh, repeat the motor selection process or contact the manufacturer. It's important to take the time and put in the effort to properly select the motor because a hasty uh, decision and lack of testing can cause, a, can cause a host of problems with the gear motor and could possibly damage the application. 